Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to create other trail functionality in Excel. Before we begin, I just want to mention that this is going to be a more advanced Excel tutorial. And we'll be writing VBA, uh, which is Visual Basic Application, which is the programming language uh, Excel uses. And if you don't have any experience writing VBA, I'll suggest you uh, go watch some basic tutorial on how to write uh, VBA first. But if you do have uh, at least some experience writing VBA, then uh, you should be able to follow along. So let's get started. Over here, I download this uh, balance sheet template from Microsoft template website. And I create this uh, auto trail. And so I just named the worksheet trail. And I'm going to actually uh, change the tab color to, let's change that to uh, green. And we'll implement a uh, auto trail functionality every time Let's say one change a value. Uh, let's right now I'm on the liabilities and the owner uh, owner's equity worksheet. And if I change a value, you now let's say from a hundred eighty to let's do two hundred, and I want the change to be reflects on the trail worksheet. And to do that, so we need to write some VBA code. And so let's go ahead and open the Visual Basic uh, window. So we can use the shortcuts Alt F11. Or we can use the uh, Visual Basic. Uh, click on this icon right here. The first thing you need to think about is uh, which worksheet you want to implement the other trail. So in Excel, uh, each worksheet has their own events. So if uh, right now I'm on the sheet tree, which is the liabilities and owners equity worksheet, and let me uh, maximize this. And if I click on from the drop down, here's different uh object. So there's a worksheet object and the workbook object. Since I'm on the worksheet uh object, so right now only the worksheet object is available. And so if I select that, and here's the list of events that are available that are tied to that uh, worksheet. So here we have active uh, events. That just means that. When you click on the, the worksheet, uh, the liabilities and owner's equity worksheet, and this event will fire or before delete. So if you, uh, so before you delete this worksheet and this event will fire and so on. And to implement the other trail functionality, we want to use the, the change events. The change event is going to fire every time when you, uh, make a change to the, uh, in, in this case will be the liabilities and the owner's equity worksheet. So let me show you an example. So here, let me put a stop. And here, if I change the 200 back to 180, and you'll see that uh, the change events will fire and the stop command will basically uh, stop the, the VBA execution. Oops. And right here, the target variable is basically uh, the cell reference or the cell range that you are uh, making the change. So here, let's say, actually, let me close this. And I'll move the window to the right a little bit. So here, let's say we only want to, want to implement the uh, other trail functionality uh, to, let's see, uh, let me show the, the heading. And let's say I only want to implement the other trail functionality to column C and column D. And first, so here I'm going to uh, take the target uh, variable. And I'm going to check the, uh, the column index. So if the column index is 3 or column uh, index is 4. Oops. And I want to go ahead and uh, log the, the change. So here I'm going to create a private subroutine that's going to be kind of like a, a function and to, uh, to log the change. So let's call this subroutine uh, log uh, change. And we'll have a, a parameter. So here we're going to uh, use a uh, cell target as range. And here I'm going to create a worksheet variable. Here I'm going to uh, create a 
the variable outside. So that way that uh, both subroutine can share the uh, the object. So I'm going to just call this uh, L and LOE. So liability, ownership, and equity. Oops, I forgot. Uh, and it's going to be a worksheet uh, data type. And here I'll create my uh, my uh, WS LOE uh, worksheet object. So it's going to be this worksheet. That worksheets. And I'll just grab the, the worksheet name. And here I'm actually going to uh, create another uh, worksheet object. So let's call this uh, WS uh, trail. And I'm, and I'm actually going to uh, create the object outside. So uh, set WS trail as this workbook. The uh, worksheets. And here let me see uh, this one more that I'm looking for. And so and when we deactivate, so meaning that moving away from uh this worksheet, and I want to uh release all the objects so that way that we don't hold any memory uh on our computer. So here set WS trail is nothing. So here I'm going to create a variable called a row insertion. So this going be is this going to be the value of the row number that we're going to insert the uh, the log on the trail uh, worksheet. So let me zoom in a little bit more. And so here I'm going to uh, use the selection change. Uh, this event will basically fire uh, before the the worksheet change event, and we want to figure out the previous value and the after value. So here I'll put a uh, selection change uh, subroutine right here. So I'll move this up, so and so they'll go together. And here outside, I'm going to create my uh, previous value variable. Let's do uh, variance because we don't know what the value type is going to be. And here the previous value uh, will be target that value. Now here we can log the the message. So within the uh, liability and the owner's equity worksheet. And so first, let's get the let's get the last row value. Sure, that should be okay. Oh, I probably don't need the last row value. And here we can see that if the uh, oops, and yeah, here we can see that uh, if the target value is not equals to the previous value, and we'll call the log change uh, subroutine. and we'll pass the the targets. Uh, viable. In here, let's get the uh, the row insertion uh, number.
and it's going to give us the the last row uh, based on in based on the last uh, value in column A. And since we don't want to override the uh, the value, and want to uh, add the the row value by one. And now we can uh, instant the uh, the message. So let's do this. Uh, so here is the row insertion value. And we're going to insert a message in column A. And we'll include uh, the username. So application.username. And change uh, cell. And here's the target address. It should be cell uh, target dot address. Form and previous value and to the current value, which is the cell target value. Okay, now that's pretty much it. So let me just do a quick compile and make sure that there's no error or anything. Okay, now let's give this a try. So let me close the Phoebe window. And now if I change the value from 180 to 200 for accounts payable. Oops, uh, here I made a, a, I made a mistake. So here let me delete this. So it should be a log on the uh, the trail worksheet. So let me, let me just double check. Oh, so I should be using the WS trail uh, worksheet. So <clears throat> and that means I don't need this and also this. So let me try again. So compile and let me delete the text. And now if I uh, try again, so if I change the value from 200 to 180, and here uh, on the, uh, the trail will shape and it's going to uh, document the change. So my name, so my username, Jai Jin, change uh, cell C4 from 200 to 180. And we can actually, so we can uh, include more information uh, as well. So here, honestly, I should include the, the washing name. So here, let me do this. Uh, um, uh, liabilities. So I'm going to just uh, use LOE and worksheets. So I think that'll be better. And now if I change uh, for, uh, let's do uh, unearned revenue. So I'm going to increase the value to a thousand. And here we'll get a more complete message. So Jai Jen change cell uh, D1 from zero to a thousand on LOE worksheet. So this is everything in this tutorial. And I'll post the VBA code on my website and I'll have the link in the video description. I hope you guys found this video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video.